this is the ice cream box and using it to store money money this is where you use basically something which at its root okay okay that's it true. so you cannot have uh, you cannot have uh, vocabulary you only have vocabulary yeah you cannot okay. learn vocabulary you can improve your vocabulary or enhance your vocabulary okay. how are you i'm fine sorry i'm fine how about you i'm doing well okay that's great so uh, my name is yashi and i'm a banker by profession and what about you my name is ahmed and i'm a trainer i'm a technical trainer okay uh, so yeah this is my first time with you i guess you seem to speak well yeah shall no just straight off the bat yes uh, yeah i can um, speak well i won't lie uh, yeah so i can speak well uh, so then uh, what is that is the reason for you to be here uh, there are two reasons basically Uh, am I audible? Ah, bolo. Yeah. So I live in a very uh, remote area where I do not have atmosphere to be able to speak to people. That's one of the reasons why I'm here. And secondly, I have a YouTube channel that is particularly English based. So are you comfortable with me posting videos on YouTube of yours? Yeah. So I will be posting this. Ah, uh, so yeah. The, these are the two reasons why I'm here. Okay. one thing uh when i am in a session i am going to correct you as soon as you make a mistake yeah yeah sure no problem so you said basically you said something basically uh forgot what you said basically but the entire context of what basically was not needed okay for that sentence let's print you when you can use basically okay uh can you see this box yes what did this box is for uh almonds i believe uh, ice cream ice cream so if you ask me amar what is this box i can i tell you basically this is the ice cream box and using it to store money money this is where you use basically something which at its root okay okay that's it. nice like right. using for something else or functioning with something else for example which city are you in right now yes I am in a town called Narsinghpur. Where is that spelling? It's in Madhya Pradesh. N A R N A R S I N G H. Narsinghpur. Yeah. And you are from Narsinghpur or some other place? I am. Be I am from Jabalpur. That's my hometown. Here we can use basically. Okay. So let's okay. say I meet you in Narsinghpur. So let's speak now to ask you. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So, do you stay in Narsinghpur or are you from Narsinghpur? Then, Ahmed. Basically, I'm from Jabalpur, but because I'm working here, I'm staying in Narsinghpur. Okay, okay, yeah, sure. Thank you so, so much. At your help, at your very root, you're from Jabalpur, but you're right. working here. Right. Yes, right, right, right. Okay. Basically, I'm a chef, but let's say I have not got a job, so I'm working as a carpenter. Oh, correct, correct. Thank you so much. Example: I'm working as a carpenter. Uh, so we have a topic. The topic which we have is food and restaurant. We can either speak about this topic or we can speak about anything else. You tell me what do you want to. Uh, you're not very clearly audible. Can you please repeat what you said? I said we have a topic as food and restaurant. Okay. We can either speak about that or we can speak about something else. You tell me what do you want to do. I think food and restaurant is fine. Yes. Right. Uh, in that case, tell me. Do you have any? Do you have any favorite restaurant? Uh, currently, as I have mentioned earlier, that uh, I live in a remote area, so there are not much options. Even uh, tomato and uh, swiggy has been introduced just few days ago. So uh, I live in Jabalpur, and Jabalpur is sorry. Jamaican Jamaican city has been introduced. Have been has been introduced recently. Yeah, correct. So they have been introduced uh, current like recently. So we don't. I don't have much options here. But back in Jamalpur, I had a lot of uh, popular and uh, favorite restaurant. I should rather say. So one of no, them was. Uh, sorry. 
restaurants plural restaurants okay so how do we pronounce rest because the pronunciation of the word is restaurant right so how do we pronounce when it is plural even i thought the pronunciation is restaurant but i have been corrected the pronunciation is restaurants Right. Uh, but is it different for UK or or US or is it the same Indian. for both? It's Indian. Restaurant. This is British. This is British. This is American. Restaurant. Restaurant. Even I was under the assumption that it is restaurant, but it is not restaurant. It's restaurant. So for Indians, right? But uh, we follow British and English. So how they do we follow British English from the point of view of spelling? But this is okay. pronunciation. Okay. For example, and again, an example. Okay. This is very careful. This is British pronunciation of water. You heard that? Uh, no. Can you please repeat it? Water. Uh, it's not clear. Water. Okay. Water. Water. Okay. Got it. Now this is British pronunciation. <laughs> Water, water, right. If you hear the difference between British pronunciation and Indian pronunciation is significant. Okay. He pronounced as water. They pronounced as water. I I I don't know. I don't know if I pronounced correctly or not. But the spelling which we follow is as per British English. British English, correct. Uh, I may be wrong here, but I hmm. believe that earlier we used to follow British English entirely, but now we are moving towards uh, American English, that is U.S. English. So, is it correct or? I don't think we are specifically moving. The more the, it is the advent of American programs. Yes, right. It is. We are watching watching a lot of American programs, American series, American movies. We have start, started adopting the American pronunciation. That is why the video has frozen. Earlier now. in school, sorry. Your yeah, video was frozen for a second, so I told you video was frozen. Oh. Right, it's fine. Yeah. So uh, why I'm asking this because I remember in school we used to pronounce schedule, but now I was going to come to that. I was yeah. going to come to this. Story. Yes. So uh, I always had this doubt in my mind: what is actually we are mo doing? Is it British English or US English or Indian English, somewhere in between? So I'm still as far as I understand, I, I don't know officially. I think traditionally we have been using British English pronunciation as well as spelling. And British English is the most correct pronunciation and spellings. American English has its own way. I'll give one more example. Um, okay, the currency of US is dollars. Dollars, right. And they also use bucks, five bucks, seven bucks, ten bucks, correct? Right, right. right. We have started adopting that also. For example, I'll tell you that um, this is for 250 bucks, for example, at left. But it is wrong. Okay. The word bucks is supposed to be used exclusively for dollars. Dollars. I cannot right. simply say bucks for any currency. Okay. Tomorrow, let's say if I go to UK, I can't say this ice cream is for 11 pounds. So I can't say it's for 11 bucks. That will be incorrect. Correct. Correct. Right. So what we are doing is we are moving towards American English a bit because we are watching a lot of American programs. American shows. American shows. That could be the reason probably. Mm -hmm. Because earlier British English was dominant. Now I feel like US English is quite dominant. Yes. That's why people who are learning English to find it difficult to understand which pronunciation you are supposed to use, British or American. Because you heard different people using different things. In my opinion, when it comes to pronunciation, I think US is easier than British. Even the accent. Not, I don't know about that. I think it could be right, but I'm not sure. I prefer the British pronunciation because British pronunciation makes more sense. And uh, when you look at the word, British pronunciation, okay, but if, I think the Indian pronunciation makes more sense, I'll be honest with you, because both British and Americans 
when you say the word water we don't tend to pronounce the r r which we do yes right you can pronounce the word r correct furthermore uh i've heard this that when when we pronounce the words we are pronouncing the words better than a lot of uh, american and britishers for example the country iran i r a n is the is the spelling americans tend to pronounce as iran iran oh i don't know that that's incorrect it's obviously iran oh yeah yeah or uh, arab they tend to pronounce as arab arab so we pronounce as arab so our pronunciation i feel a better than americans and britishers now when i say our pronunciation talk about people who are from india but or you know, they have been speaking for english for a very long time and they managed to neutralize their accent that could be the reason okay uh, i just have one question so how do you stay updated when it comes to english see because there are a lot of words there are a lot of vocabularies no no no, no. what is vocabulary that's it okay vocabulary as in word vocabulary i guess are words no that is a collection of words which we know so by vocabulary for example if i know only one word in hindi for example my vocabulary in hindi is limited to only one word okay so vocabulary is a collection of words which you know so you cannot have uh, you cannot have a vocabulary you only have vocabulary yeah you cannot okay. learn vocabulary you can improve your vocabulary or enhance your vocabulary okay okay thank you so much so i didn't know a lot of things and i feel like i am gaining a lot of knowledge so yes yeah, so i was saying that yeah there are a lot of words a lot of phrases a lot of idioms and it's not possible for a sane human to learn everything why a sane human so, not <laughs> sane human means someone who is uh, you know mentally stable and uh, the, the one who can learn things i think i think It's not, it's not possible. Uh, it's. I think it's clearly not possible for a person. Everything, to obviously. Yes. But we can learn all things. We can. We can. But again, see, learning and then apply, applying it or implementing it is different. It's not possible. You can learn hundreds and thousands of words, but again, you cannot retain it for a long period of time. Or if you can retain it, you cannot use it while talking. so that's not possible so that is what i'm asking how do you stay updated i read a lot uh, yashi uh, that is one thing which i do that helps me a lot plus i i i actually read a lot okay article something or there i keep reading so when i come across something new i find out if it is right or not for example um uh, i want you to do something i want you to find out what is the oxford comma uh i think i know but i might be wrong uh is it the one that we use after and as well yes i might be wrong because i recently learned about this so i have little bit not of that is the oxford comma you can it's after the and i use oxford comma or always forget it after the and or not it's also called a serial comma Yes, right. No, it is after. It is not used after the and. It is used before the word. It is used after the word which comes before and, not after the and. Yes, so that's basically that's based on U.S. English. We don't do it while writing British okay. English. Oxford comma Oxford comma is British English. Based on British English. Oh. Uh, Wait, Oxford comma is not based on. It is simply Oxford comma. It is not based on British English or American English. Oh, uh, but I think US follow this part pattern. US follows this pattern. This I don't know. It's I called a serial comma. No, I'm not very sure about it. Oxford comma, also Harvard comma. Oh, uh, Harvard comma. I don't know. Oxford, I said because I somewhere recently uh, uh, read this term. So that's one of the reason why I was able to answer that it's somewhere before or after and. I don't know about Harvard comma. Ah, oh, so the same thing. Oxford oh, comma, Harvard okay. comma, Stephen comma, all say the same. Just different things. 
Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so the usage of comma is different in Ox what we call as Ox Oxford comma. So in school, we've learned that after a word, after and or before and, we don't use and, There is no comma. Comma. But uh, serial comma is used before and, as you yeah. mentioned. So that's the concept, no? <clears throat> uh, I know very few people who use this. Once I yes. came across this concept of Oxford comma, I simply read about it and it made sense to me because the explanations they gave made sense why the Oxford comma is supposed to be used. So I use it now. That's how it is. Mm. It's like this. Um, if I tell you. Okay, I'll give you one example. You tell me if I'm right or wrong. Uh, so I have a lot of friends. Uh, Stuti, Smriti, uh, Stuti, comma, Smriti, comma, Shreyoshi, comma, and Vishal. Am I correct? Yes? Yeah. So, I remember the usage, but I was not entirely sure. Yes, sir. Well, I don't know what happens also when you ask, how do you get updated? If I ask you to tell me which are the best restaurants in uh, your city, which serve good or which have good sweets. You actually have to search in your city, correct? You yeah, go to right. different localities, so you yeah. keep searching for these things. You might get them sometimes, might not even sometimes. So I keep reading a lot. That helps. Okay, so you are into articles or do you read books, novels? Everything. Everything? Okay, so what kind of books? Uh, is it just I'm fiction? Fiction. fiction? Mm. Okay, okay. So how did you develop this habit? Because I believe reading helps you a lot when it comes to English. I sit in school. I sit in school a lot. I would, we would have this library period every week. And most of our friends would not read. So I would tell them to take this book, uh, which I wanted to read. So every week, I think I would take between three or four books to read. Okay. Okay, that's that's interesting. So I was not, I'm not an avid reader, but still I believe that learning helps you a lot. So I keep reading articles, sometimes self-help books. And with time, I found that, yes, they help a lot when it comes to vocabulary. I mean, enhancing vocabulary. Uh, at the same time, you gain a lot of knowledge with books. So uh, I, I suggest everyone to read at least one book per month. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I forgot to ask, where do you live? Oh, yeah, That's in Mumbai. I'm going to only one place where I remember you made a mistake. That was Hag. Hag. Apart uh, from that, I don't think there's any place where you made a mistake. And vocabulary, yes. Hag and vocabulary. Vocabulary. Apart from that, I don't think you made a mistake anywhere. You spoke right. very nicely. Thank I'm you. I'm so surprised why you're here. Uh, <laughs> your confidence is great. 